this one. Definitely sounds like 2010 to me, bro. Oh, <laughs> Ooh, fam. This is just this is disgusting. It's gonna hit me and I'll be like <laughs> It's gonna what? hit me when it suddenly <laughs> when it suddenly comes in and I'll be like, oh shit, yeah, now I remember. <laughs> Come on, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. I, I sort of remember it. I, I remember bits, bits, bits. I'm a what UK. What is good? This is A R A H of N Y T Y P R C A L. Or Aura of Night from NYTypical.net. Woo! Your fashion consigliere, that's the one. Yeah, I got so many on Monica's fam. I am actually here with the mandem for the very first long form type fashion type cipher type, what you whatever you want to call it type thing. <laughs> but yeah, you might want to introduce yourselves. You want to go first? All right. Um, my name's Ayo. Uh, I run a YouTube channel called The Fashion Archive. <laughs> My name's Jason. I'm from Pre to Drop. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yes. A fashion journalist and a fashion stylist. <laughs> 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 but yes. All right. Um, where do you man want to start, fam? So, do you want to go through it alphabetically with these shows? Okay, yeah. So, basically, I forgot to even do this. Basically, <laughs> what we're going to do is talk about Men's Fashion Week and all the things that kind of went on during Men's Fashion Week, as well as what we have in store for just even Men's Fashion in general. And, yeah, like, it's going to be a fun conversation because, you know, there's a lot of people that say... Men's Fashion Week shouldn't even exist. You should mix the men in with the women and like, yeah, okay. um, <laughs> every time I heard, I'm like, you just don't even get the conceptual, like, yeah, yeah. people are like, what even is masculinity? <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Damn, I hate that. I hate that term all the time. But yeah, okay. So we're gonna go with is it com first? Is that alphabetically? And. <laughs> An, an, an. Maybe, maybe it's an. Maybe it's an. All right. Yes. Yeah, so, an. Well, Sebastian Munier. Yeah. Munier yeah, 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 done yeah. a show yeah. for Handy. I didn't even know he was like that. Like, I didn't even look up who, like, well, when. Creative director. Yeah, I didn't yeah, even know yeah, he was a creative yeah. director until like halfway through the yeah. show. I was like, who's <laughs> that? I was like, is this an? He like, came form? In, uh, yeah. 2013. Yeah. After Andy herself left. But yeah, he's he's sick. He's done really good work. So yeah, like sick. I've got all of my notes there for it. Like, cause um the show reminded me of like a midsummer night stream. Like that's the first thing that like with yeah. the flowers yeah. and the music and all of that stuff. So like just like cause had the orchestra was it or like not even an orchestra but just like old school ballet music. Yeah, yeah. 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 The show yeah. was actually based off of it's a ballet called Ninjinsky, isn't it? Yeah, the afternoon of the fawn or something like that. Okay. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it sort of makes sense that it's got that almost those almost folky yeah sort of folklore notes throughout the pieces. Yeah, like where you where you notice on some of the yeah. bits where there was like the sort of. What do you call them? What do you call them? The flowers, the lapels, oh. the. Yo, the flora, this is the hard. fauna. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The flora and the fauna, like yeah. embroidered on the pieces. Yeah. Some of the some of the accessories, the 
the broaches, yeah, the broaches. Yeah. All of the broaches are quite hard to be honest with you. Like, just in my mind, I remember. Oh, like, yeah, I remember wait, was like, cause wait, are those leaves brooches? Yeah, I think so. I think they were. Okay, they might have been. that's wavy then. Like, cause like <laughs> no, cause you had them on the pieces because there's like a lot of people. Cause at the beginning of the show, this happened with like Andy and um, Rick Owens and maybe. Um, undercover slash come de garçon but like the beginning bits up until like three or four minutes i was like eh, like you know what i mean but then like it went on and uh, like in rick they showed like more wearable pieces like less conceptual yeah. like more yeah. wearable, wearable like with the suits and all of that like that leather suit and yeah. um like andy they done that as well with like the like just the long coat and all of that and like yeah and come they kind of did that as well with, like the suits and everything but like when they start getting into the wearable stuff like when i think about yeah. what men will wear yeah. or when like because obviously you have like 2016 when like there's just a bunch of randomers coming into fashion and all yeah. of that stuff like you they were in fashion but or they came into fashion because like they saw wearable pieces on the runway like yeah. everyone can relate to a t-shirt yeah in it and yeah. like everyone can relate relate to a hoodie so yeah. Like, all of that stuff being on the runway made it more accessible. And yeah. then, like, so when I think about that, like, just, like, um, the contextuality of all of, like, people being in fashion, I think about, okay, so when will the, like, the incoming consumer be engaged? So, yeah, like, around four minutes on each video was about, like, this this one in particular was, like, 4.20. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like, literally, I, I was looking at the time and I was, like, at four minutes, 20, that's when, like, this, everything became, like, super wearable. Yeah. Yeah. And, like, you can break the pieces apart, like, and, like, just conceptually, to me, that's, like, what menswear is about, like, how you're able to, like, just look at a piece and be, like, yeah, I could wear that. Like, if you're, like, really wanting to be more intrigued and engaged into fashion, then, like, yeah, you'll be, like, okay, I can wear at least that. Like, yeah. let's say um, you show one of your boys or all of that stuff and then, like, you just skip to 420, then you look at the pieces and then it's like, you know, someone's going to find something they can wear, innit? Yeah. Like, yeah, that's what, like, personally, yeah, yeah. when I think yeah. of, like, just man them in general, like, they're not like us 100% whereas, like, we've had years, like, looking at and looking at archives, <laughs> all of that stuff. So, you, so I just think to myself, all right, so what, ha, what would help someone be more engaged? And it's all of those wearable pieces. Like, yeah, like, that's, well, that's what I got for it. What did you guys get? Okay, for it, cool. Um, for me, I felt like this was a very back to basics and season. It's got a lot of the classical stuff. There's the there's the lace. There's the leather. Yeah. There's the shirling. There's the you've got your ankle high boots. It's so good for me seeing those returning. <laughs> no, 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 no. To see those returning actually in men's sizing as well. Yeah. Because. I think a lot of the time, a lot of the time with men's boots and men's footwear, yeah, people are afraid to cross that threshold of going up to knee high, going up to above above the ankle. Yeah, yeah. I your think boots. men don't wear yeah, that. Yeah, 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 exactly, yeah. exactly. For me, for me, one of the bits that I love about Anne is that it allows for room for expression, allows for room for androgyny, for you to style it how you want to. You can still look semi masculine yeah if you want wearing an but you can also take those feminine roots feminine motifs and everything and incorporate it yeah. into your outfits it's got that sort of i absolutely loved the use of velvet in this show same same honestly, honestly no look I'm literally <laughs> like with me personally like texture is a massive thing like um mm. Like last year around this time, I started thinking about that a lot. Like um, with Adam and Eve, and like back when Ian Connor was still active, like and well, he's active now still again. Active but yeah. like, like what? Like because he was the one, like him and like his the other white guy that does YouTube as well. I forgot his name, but Ian Connor's Who's like that? graphics designer. Mm. I forgot his name. I'm like, but he like made me think about more getting into fashion like in those early times yeah. as well and uh, not yeah. fashion um making videos about yeah. fashion but yeah like when it comes to texture mm. like you think about leather like you think about how they mix leather with fur and like mm. and like that's what happened with this season as well like there was a lot of fur like i think it's because everyone knows that everything can synthetic now yeah. that everyone's got back to fur and like 
they're using more textures now where it's like mm. like with uh, like yeah like i said with the article that i wrote yeah. like um last year it was about textures so yeah. what's going to get met like especially with trainers as yeah, well yeah, it's yeah. like it's not just like an all leather air force one like that's yeah. too basic like obviously with women's wear it can be that simple and minimalistic but with men's wear it's like men want to feel things men want to touch things men want to be able to hold things yeah. and like designate mm. um feelings and sensations when they're looking at yeah. an item to say this can be worth more because da, 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 da. the way men shop as well because yeah. women yeah. just buy loads of pieces whereas men you buy one jacket and we're like trying to wear that jacket for a couple of years is that <laughs> so that's just literally, the way you um, literally a man, <laughs> a man will buy a pair of shoes the next day the next day they're wearing them like you see them a year yeah. later they're still wearing those shoes the they're looking beat as fuck day. but they've been yeah. worn every yeah. day they've been worn every day especially when yeah. people are just getting into fashion especially when people are just getting into it's fashion. like it adds character like even when like your long term and when we're talking mm. about sustainability and that it's like I, like you know when they come up with words but like you've always been doing it like yeah. it's like of course you're gonna have a piece for a long time because you bought the piece because you enjoyed it yeah and yeah. it's good like and like with the last video i said it's like the artist interpretation you buy the piece and it's mm. like you have them with you yeah and then you yeah. get to wear them and then like um your character comes into the clothes and all of that stuff and like you now you have a piece with the artist in over a period of time as yeah. well as like when like you're listening to music it's like you're just listening to an artist interpretation yeah. of a theme and it's like and then you come to the artist and it's like oh, da, 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 and it's like a bit weird yeah. but like when you come to andy wearing andy she understands and then like she sees that um, you've been wearing it for some time or even like sebastian whoever you meet but they see that you've been wearing it for a long time or you've had this piece and you know exactly what show it's from because that's the main thing i see about archive it's like they know exactly what look yeah. <laughs> like when it was made <laughs> what the reference was for that piece and everything but yeah like you have all of that stuff and it just makes sense to me yeah. absolutely man like what what i rate is honestly a lot of a lot of people a lot of people mindlessly consume yeah they don't think about the pieces and what how it's going to integrate into their wardrobe what lifespan it will have in their wardrobe before they cop it for me i feel like if i'm buying a piece it's going to be very rare for me to actually sell that piece because i bought it because i see myself wearing it 10 years down the line five years down the line etc yeah i want to get wear out of the piece like something that i subscribe to is the whole wabi sabi sort of yeah vibe. yeah yeah i, yeah, I, yeah, I yeah. think i think clothes look better beat i think clothes look better beat that you'll see you'll see man that'll buy like what 800 quid pair of shoes like whites or whatever and they'll they'll treat it like it's a fucking trophy they will they'll barely wear it it's a fucking pair of shoes at the end of the day you know like for me <laughs> i'm not gonna lie me, i'm on the in between but yeah for on. me i i don't have any qualms about wearing it, it's, it's clothes at the end of the day mm. expensive clothes or like expensive pieces that i've invested my money on i want to get the wear out of them i want to treat them like clothes you know they they may be seen as pieces of art by other people yeah <laughs> they, no but they are like yeah like yeah, yeah, saying they're not yeah. art pieces it's not of art is like saying it's wearable that, art. It's yeah wearable art. it's and like saying the, the person that made them isn't yeah. an yeah. artist that's like the, that that's... that annoys me so much like mm. when people are like designers yeah. aren't artists or like yeah. fashion is an artist like yeah someone took yeah. a whole concept and then but people that say that are from the mindset of just seeing fashion as function and nothing else mm. And that's what happens when you only shop in H&M because people, the type of oh. people that only shop in H&M and only look at clothes uh, made by H&M are only thinking of, okay, I'm wearing a hoodie to keep warm. I'm, they're not thinking of the artistic side. They're not thinking of inspirations. They're not thinking of any of that stuff. But also, bro, bro, when back, I was, to, uh, back when I was a H&M shopper, fam, I was thinking about all of that as well, though. <laughs> like, I, like, I don't, like, I don't know what it is. Maybe it's just like one of those natural things when you like have art, or like when you're like, well, with me, like um, when I was in college and obviously getting into art and then knowing like the fashion girls and all of that stuff mm. and uh, the interior design guys or like the VFX guys and uh, the theater people, it's like you start to see every single thing as art you were already yeah. an artistic person yeah at that point. exactly yeah, yeah. yeah like and it didn't it didn't make sense to not like 
Like, literally, when I was 17, I was in stores feeling the clothes. Obviously, this is H&M, so it's like, now, I'm looking back, it's like, of course it's not going to feel good, bro. <laughs> it's H&M. <laughs> but, you know what I mean? Like, at least, like, having that indication. Like, my mum did it at first, but I didn't understand it till I was in college. Yeah. So, like, yeah. my mum told me that, like, and, like um, smelling the leather when you're going to buy it as well. Like, all of those type of things, like, yeah. I inherited from my mum, but understood when I was, like, in college. And started yeah. like getting to art, but yeah, it's like you gotta know uh, what the piece is referencing, or even what the fast fashion is referencing. Like, if you're gonna buy fast mm-hmm. fashion, know know who they're referencing. Like, know, know this, yeah, know know that this is Thierry Mugler, but obviously because Kim K was Dumbed what down a bit exactly, and yeah, made more commercial. Because that's because at the end of the day, like, even though it's like there's a bit of a you know, it's a bit sly and, like, cheeky. It's, like, there's still a reference behind it. Yeah. And there's, like, a real understanding of that. So, like, I don't get angry when people um, buy fast fashion, but I do, like, if you don't get your wear out of it, one, and you don't know where it comes from, two, it's, like... Yeah. Yeah, you're, like, just a mindless consumer. Yeah. (laughs) Because, yeah, Mm. like, in my personal opinion, but, yeah. Yeah. Okay. But, um, like... With the Andy show, like back to it, it's like um I call it the days and the gays, like um like well this like you know when it's like queer and androgynous like yeah, the days like yeah. whether because obviously there's a lot of people that don't want to be he she it's like days in it and like the gays so that's like the queer community. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, <you're correct>. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, the days and the gays and like you know just that whole queer stuff. It's like. Like, and those slender pieces and everything, like, when when you get into those feminine pieces and, like, breaking them down and, like, putting them into, like, masculine shapes, like, it's even, like, having skinny jeans, it's, like, right. yeah, it's feminine, but you can still pair it with something mm. that can be completely masculine as well, or even having a long t-shirt is, like, just a couple inches shorter than a dress, yeah. but, um, yeah, but you can still, like, pair it with something that makes yeah. it super masculine, or, like, and you can do that, and you can have yeah. that interchangeability yeah. with it. Even uh, yeah. even fabric choices, man. Like, how often? How often? Yeah, we'll talk about the velvet. Do you see yeah. sheer? Nah. How often do you see guys wearing sheer fabrics? Sheer fabrics are fucking great. Nah, honestly, <laughs> honestly, you can you can make some very very cool fits, very cool layering with sheer fabrics, in my opinion. And it's not something you see enough of in menswear. It's something yeah. that Anne does bring to menswear. Yeah, she well. He, both she, both she yeah. and Sebastian. Yeah, on that was all really weird for me. Yeah. I can't lie to you. Like, when <laughs> like, like, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, because that was the first time like I looked up the menswear as well. Like, because yeah. <laughs> yeah, with Andy, it's like. Like, you know when, like, you watch the anti-fashion documentary, yeah. innit? Yeah, yeah, And, like, yeah. when she's like, Andrew Mulamista will always be Andrew Mulamista. So, I'm yeah. like, everything she does, <laughs> I'm looking at it. <laughs> I'm, I'm, like, I don't care. That's my idol. Mm. <laughs> Icon, all of that stuff. But, like, yeah, like, just finding out that the menswear department is him. It's like, okay, yeah, she's getting up in the years a little yeah. bit. So, she needed someone to back it, basically. But he does reference quite well. Yeah. But, I, but in my opinion, it was, like, a little bit more subdued. It wasn't, like, full, and it was, like, definitely you can tell that there was a reference. Like, because yeah. that's when the f- show first started, I was, like, this isn't, like, this doesn't feel, like, all the way, like, I'm, yeah. like, and going in. And then, like, mm. obviously, when you get later on into the show and then you get more wearable pieces, you're, like, okay, yeah, yeah this is menswear. They understand what right. men menswear is yeah. doing and stuff, so they're connected, but then... I understood it was Sebastian that was doing it, and it was like, yeah. oh, and then everything just clicked, yeah. and it was that's like, what, okay. That's what Sebastian does, though, because that's mm. why Andy actually picked him in the first place. Yeah. Because if you think of his last collection, it was based on, like, um, the Antwerp docks and him living in Antwerp. Andrew Lemisa herself has had a collection in the past inspired by her uh, time. Okay. The Antwerp. So basically, oh, wait, it's just... Yeah. Andy has made a collection inspired mm. by her time, Antwerp docks, living in Antwerp, what she felt it was. Sebastian Munier has referenced that, but seen it in his own eyes. Mm, so yeah. they've lived a similar life to the point where he can reference in a way that's true to himself. So it's even beautiful. In this collection, yeah, it's yeah, beautiful. He's using materials that are normally Anne. Mm. Also, his colour palette is very, mm. very like romantic, mellow compared to Andy. Yeah. Andy was more like black, grey, white, gothic. harsh. He's like red, purple, pink. 
So he's right. like, they call him yeah. the like romantic side of Andy. Yeah. Okay. Andy's more like grunge. Sebastian yeah, to, like, like that's what I was thinking. I was like, this isn't, this doesn't have the, you know what I yeah. mean? Like this doesn't have the Berlin Wall crashed. We're <laughs> like, all of this, we're getting into it. Yeah. We're like ripping up our clothes and yeah. we don't care yeah. if everything yeah. like, and we're going to party. We don't care. All of, like it doesn't have that, <laughs> yeah. like, you know, that essence, that like yeah. vibrance, like obviously, yeah. um, Vivian Westwood does it a bit different, but like when Andy did it, it was like, yeah, like, you know, you like, you felt yeah. that connection when it was like, when you understood that reference of like, yeah. just them being, not understanding what things are and like, just, you know, we don't care about um, Versace and all of that stuff. Yeah. We are us regardless. Yeah. And like yeah. thrifting and like, be, like just getting beaten clothes and all, yeah, but. I feel that. I feel like the more, like, it was definitely more romantic. It was definitely more mellow. Like, the yeah. sheer, like, but mixing the sheer with the velvet, with the fur, with the leather, yeah. all of that, it was like, that is menswear. In my opinion, yeah. that's what menswear is. Being able to mix um, textures together, um, different shapes and sizes, and, like, being able to make them all be cohesive enough to put together. Did you see those pony hair boots? Did you see yeah, the pony hair? Po- oh, bro, sick. I don't remember. <laughs> they, and they were quite high as well. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. I think. <laughs> do you do you actually see any retailers having picked those up from the showroom the to sell? Is because the price point on those is DSM. If DSM stopped nuts. Andy, they would. Yeah. Unfortunately, think of everyone I know that stopped DSM. So we've got Selfridges, no way. Yeah. Allotment, <laughs> maybe, but I doubt it. Ukes, no. Ukes, no. You've got layers, Mike. Lab layers, store. London. Lab store. Lab do they store stock Andy or no? Yeah, they I do. They do. Yeah, layers, maybe lab store. They're going to stock stuff like that, I feel like. But not too many buyers. Nah, that's the thing. That's the thing. Yeah. Because, <laughs> because the price point is going to be so high on those as well. That's that's one of the reasons why I think they're going to end up probably going into the category yeah. of if you want these pieces, you're going to end up having to go to sample sales and yeah. pop them from there. <laughs> and go to Antwerp, like the Antwerp yeah, yeah, sample yeah, yeah. sales. Yeah, yeah, Essentially, essentially. Yeah. No, but Andy's footwear, every season, Andy's footwear is just like, every year, they just do something crazy. Bro, the literally, literally, no. Like, I think, I think Anne is without fail one of the houses that I always yeah. always look forward to seeing Same. how they interpret Same. things seeing how how Sebastian yeah. references prior and prior material and yeah yeah, materials, yeah exactly yeah. exactly and one thing that I do love about him is that he does bring this as you said yeah he does bring this nice color palette to the yeah. house he brings a lot of the white and then he mixes it in with the blush pink yeah, with yeah. like the the reds like that last season that oh, red shirt he had oh bro <laughs> <laughs> no, okay 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 no, madam, madam, no. Madam. okay <laughs> next is <laughs> com the com show otherwise we're gonna talk about oh, it yeah, yeah, yeah fam yeah, yeah. We're like, I felt it I felt <laughs> it going I felt it going but still alright that was com show are we gonna go into the controversy or what are we gonna yeah, do yeah uh, okay yeah someone someone like cause I know what I think already we're like someone else that um is a bit like you know with it with explaining everything that happened because it's funny to me it's funny yeah, but yeah. obviously okay yeah, I'll do it. <laughs> 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 okay so basically come the or like was it ray that made this show did she actually do this herself the thing is because i don't like i haven't looked into it too deeply yeah, i know same. ray kakubo does the main line the menswear is a bit dodgy because i know at some point junior watanabe used to do the yeah, menswear so i have a yeah. feeling like umpla Ray might do it, but she probably has someone that's like. It felt a bit, you know what I mean? Yeah. So. Yeah. Okay. I doubt she's like the soul. I know Mayland, yeah. that's her, but. Okay, so basically what happened was um, the men's fashion. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the men's fashion line <laughs> for um, Ray Kawakubo's Comme des Garçons. Um, <laughs> <laughs> okay <laughs> so basically um there was a lot of racial intonations within the show that's mm. basically what happened um and ev- like they were referencing egypt or who do you remember yeah, the egyptian. name of those yeah it was supposed uh, to be egyptian. Egyptian. Yeah. yeah and that's what the 
cornrows were supposed to be. It was supposed yeah. to be referenced. Do you remember the hairstylist that actually did the um, show? I can't remember the hairstylist by name. Um, but yeah. She did a podcast. Quickly look up for it. But yeah, um, yeah. So basically, it was meant to be Egyptian, but also Egyptians were black back in the day. So it was like, okay. But it's all <laughs> like, you know what I mean? It's all right. It's still all right. But obviously, like, um, black people became into an uproar. Well, not just black yeah. people, but like, um, the social justice brigade um, <laughs> or the social justice armada i should say <laughs> came Natural into culture. Yeah. yeah they came but see this is this the interesting thing about the show because um yeah they, everyone wanted to cancel it basically that's that's it and uh <laughs> there were people that were in fashion that's like defending it and there's people that are in fashion that wasn't defending it but here's how i view it really it's yeah. like um when I was looking it up, first of all, the first time, not now, like recently, mm. when we're going to do this video, but first time I looked it up and I couldn't see it. Like, I would put in Com de Garcon Conrolls and it didn't show up. Like, because I wrote the article in it. I was like, yeah. mm, okay. And then I tried to look for the fashion show. But two days later, it kind of got put down. And then, like, after the um, apology, I didn't really look it up. But yeah. Yeah. recently, as we, we knew we were going to speak about it, I tried to look it up. And I couldn't find it. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, my first thing was... Um, so, you took it down from everywhere. Everywhere. And yeah. buried it. The they buried fuck. the show. No, 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 no. Like, do you not... No. Because, obviously, um, yeah. it's, like... Is, does everyone know marketing here and stuff like that? And like, yeah, yeah, like, do that you know how much like money? It's actually up on here. It's actually, it's still there. Yeah, 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 still yeah. There. All right, yeah, sweet. cool. But they buried the articles about it. Like, I know they deleted the runway yeah. video. They, le- they, they deleted, deleted the, the runway, runway video, video, but it's like, do you know how much money it costs to bury other people's highly clipped articles? <laughs> like when you're looking, f- and when you're looking for an image of something that was controversial. It's like retweeted and um, reposted so many times, yeah. but yeah. you can't find it. Like literally, usually, if it was something that happened to a normal person, that would be the first headline. Yeah. But obviously, like um, we had a discussion in the group chat. Yeah. Like all of us are part of um, the Fashion Archives group, um, Discord and stuff. Yeah. Do you wanna promote us as well? Yeah, link in the bio. <laughs> <laughs> you don't really like promoting. You need to make an actual video. But there's over a fashion uh, a thousand people in the Discord, yeah. but yeah um we're having a conversation about it and like um i had um and some early conversations about it with um i think it was black magic i don't know but yeah, um black, black. Yeah, 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 yeah yeah so um he was talking about um how she was about she likes the money and like she makes clothes like she's more economics than artistry and all of that stuff and well, like Ray. yeah not, that's not. that's okay. what was said no. and she said yeah. that in an article so nah, like that, that's, that was a direct how, how, reference how, how, how is run is adrian joff is always the one who pushes for the business Mm. He's the one. Her husband. Made, yeah, so he's the yeah. reason why Comedy Gas on Play exists. What's his name again? Adrian Joff. Okay. So mm-hmm. he's the reason why Comedy Gas on Play exists. He's part of the reason why uh, Comedy Gas on Black exists. He is the reason. He's the founder of Dope Street Market. Basically, it was his idea. So he's like the business person. Ray is just the artist. So okay. Anything that you see Com do that looks commercial. Com women's, never, yeah, not never, men's. It's never. Like because. Com women's what? That's the oh, most no. experimental thing ever. Yeah. No, 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 everything. No, 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 no that's, that's what, what Ray what does. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Ray, yeah. Does, Ray does calm mainline. That's what Yeah. Means. Apart from yeah. that, Ray does. I can't. Really yeah, we can't that. account for all of that yeah. stuff. But, okay, so Adrian's just some mastermind. Yeah, he's the business. That's like, was that. able to like just creates the lines that essentially it was yeah the, the heart all you know. of the heart stuff <laughs> and all of that stuff like where they're basically making yeah. billions like balenciaga just off like a little symbol basically yeah. um i like colette but obviously that's a different yeah. conversation mm. for a different day what I do you like, think about the clothes though like, yeah, yeah no yeah, the yeah. clothes that's were the thing. Oh, the, okay i'm gonna need to see them oh, like yeah. properly oh, yeah, properly no. hold on because, because i liked because i liked the pieces like yeah. if i cut off yeah. like yeah. My from the head up, <laughs> yeah. From the head up, basically. If you do what, if I these, just look at the clothes, if you do what all these men in right. the fit pics do, but when they cut off their yeah. head, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but obviously, then, like they had, but 
<clears throat> See, look, I'm like looking the, at the first like pieces, fabric, yeah. like the first couple of pieces, and it's like all of For the clown, clown tree, and it's like they it look a lot, lot black clowns. It was, very loud. It, was it was too very loud. loud. It was like they were making, and I with don't... the cornrows as well. Like, not to say it when we say we're gonna block that out, but like, <laughs> it just makes it sound like they're making more fun of it. Yeah. Mm. But mm. like, but that's what someone will think. Like a normal, like a normal bystander yeah. will think. Like, and looking at the clothes, it's like, what were they trying to accomplish? Like, um, like this look right here. I like, like this is one of my favorite looks. That like yeah, the layer, right, the la- yeah. the layering on that is like, like awesome. What what number is that? Yeah, yeah that's, that's look twenty six. Okay, so look yeah. twenty six. Like um, probably post it somewhere. But look twenty six is basically the look that I like mostly out of that collection. Yeah. <clears throat> but it's like obviously, as you can see, yeah. it's the more more minimalist type thing. It's got a pop of color and it's layered really oh, well. Sure. And the trousers were like, sure. the trousers mm, were cut. Okay, right. yes. Okay, now <laughs> I think that was a very political com- conversation. Like we politically yeah. correct com- conversation. We actually, you know, spoke about the right things. But yeah. let's get into more of the shows that we're here for. So it's Dior next, isn't it? <laughs> Woo! Bro, bro. <laughs> No, everybody in the group chat knows it. me and Dior in it. You don't. De- you know. Like, can you, you know. guys explain to me what you like about the show? Because I prefer the like Daniel Arsham one. This one. That one was good, but at that point, I was tired of the collaborations. Right. Mm. Like I didn't care about the collaborations. What Remoa and all that stuff. Yeah. Like, but Arsham is not really like. I don't think that counts because people don't collaborate with artists like that. It's normally the collaborations you get tired of is like. Matthew Williams and all the buckles all the Not, time. And, yeah, like, yeah. but Matthew Williams put um is making the buckle a luxury item, and that's yeah. totally different from high fashion, which is what yeah. um Kim Jones is doing, yeah. isn't it? Like, so I like the type of levers that like um Alix uses is like all yeah. different. But as we were saying, like <laughs> I can see you getting that seat. Bro, you go, can on. See, um, go on, no, go on, go no, on. No, 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 Play no. bit. Man's, genuinely, what okay. Do you like about Man's a What do I like about this show? Yeah. Man's a Honestly, no, no, no. Literally, I'm, I'm ready to rip. Honestly, honestly, I feel, I feel like this show was one of the better showings of this fashion. Wait, was week. it a collab? Was it a collab? Um, it doesn't look like it was a collab. Um, knowing Kim Jones, though, it just has to be. It I'm has sure to. Yeah, knowing Kim. It. Yeah, 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 yeah. But it looks like the. Soriyama show, but without the collab mm. things. This is. I think opinion. now the collabs are just more understated. Maybe they're not with big brands like Ramoa that's on the. What? Yeah. But, front the page st- of but the Stussy one yeah. was everywhere, and, and I thought I, I was going to hate that. No, but I, hated I didn't. It. I didn't. I, I didn't. It. I fell in love with it. Like <laughs> <laughs> I can't even lie to you, bro. <laughs> they just can't. Like he kind of got me. Like with the embroidery, yeah. when he starts talking about. Oh, we done couture embroidery and all no, no. <laughs> couture <laughs> beading and all that. It's like, okay, okay, oh. you got me. You got no, you yeah. got me. You got me. Mm. Like with the bag on the pre fall one and uh, wait, was it pre fall? Yeah, it was, yeah, 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 it was yeah. pre fall. Yeah. And like um, just the Miami feel and all of that stuff. Even though it was kind of like, mm, but it's still a bit. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, yeah, I can't. Like it was based in the right space to yeah. like look like that. Yeah. And like um, yeah. the print, like ap- like apart from that, the monogram itself, like I didn't like it at first, but it can it's grown on me. Like I'm not right. gonna say it's one of my favorite ones that Kim Jong has actually ever done, but it grew on me. Like, like yeah. let's let's put it fifty fifty like that. <laughs> but yeah, go on. Like um, nah, this show, this show, <laughs> this is the deal. I want now. Nah, this is the deal. I want to see people wearing. This is the deal. I want to see people wearing. The not berets. The- Ooh, you know oh, me. I'm a beret. Bro. <laughs> No, 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 no. no. What is these, these, these gloves? gloves? Oh, man. The brooches. No. Bro, we were the bags. We Let's about go this, in. The oh trousers. Bro, no, you keep them. No, the high waist. No, nah, see, high this, rise is, trousers. this is where these me and you separate. Trousers. Because when you say trousers, I'm like, there was no, trousers. The no, trousers the tailoring. The tailoring is. Bro, I am a skeleton here. I am a skeleton here. I am a skeleton here. But. Honestly, high rise trousers. Bruv, do you know how much of a bitch it is to find high rise trousers as a bloke? Yeah. All of my high rise trousers I own are from a women's section, from a women's wear section. 
it's nice for me to find something that is slim, tailored, high rise, elongates the leg, looks nice with a banging like a crop jacket. Yeah. Classic Sanj say, <laughs> phrase, cropped in the body, elongated in the <laughs> sleeves. <laughs> like, nah, honestly. Nah, nah, deep in it, nah. deep in it, deep but, in it. Like, I forgot to say this about Andy, but that's what they done well as well. What Sebastian did. Like, that's what made me think was the trousers are always it, Like, it was yeah. like, like I saw, I saw the long arms. I was like, "Yeah, that's that's Andy, but it's not. Great. But it is. If I was forced to anywhere one brand for the rest of my life, it would be Andy. Yeah, if I was forced to wear one brand for the rest of my life, it would be Dior. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. It would be Kim Jones Ooh. Dior. It would be and Eddie Dior. It would be everyone Andy. Dior. No, definitely Andy. And I need mm. color. That's the thing. Like, I need <laughs> luckily, Yo. Sebastian Minier makes a lot. Yeah, of this is a hard one for me. It'd be Anno Haider. Yeah, it'd have to be Anno Hyder for me. Yeah. Like, I love Lux fabrics, man. And I material wise, I was going to say Hyder is like very mm. velvety. He yeah. He likes a lot of yeah. those yeah. as well. Mm. Soft is a good but material. Anyway, what did I like about this Dior show? Yeah. The tailoring. <laughs> Bruv, some of the boots were pretty cool. Some of the yeah. boots were pretty cool. Um, the trousers? Obviously, the trousers. As, <laughs> as I said, you already know. But. No, nah, honestly, I like the way that it was styled. I like the paisley patterns, yeah. the accessories, the way that the looks were accessorized was really nice. And honestly, I, I quite like I quite like wearing blazers which have cropped sleeves. Wow. And I think having these the gloves longer were gloves, paired, they which were are so well. they're classically such a feminine piece. Right. You don't see you don't see blokes wearing Long even gloves. some of the colors like, and the colors and the material yes. made it even more feminine yeah. Well. yeah 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 like no, this is this is the thing it's like it might like we're going to talk about this a little bit later but like that masculine with the mm. feminine and the androgyny and the yeah. queer stuff like all mashing together um it takes it allows you to do sheer fabrics it allows you to do velvet fabrics and all the textures and all that stuff yeah. that leather would be considered super masculine mm. Mm. she'll be super feminine and then you've got the velvet in the middle yeah. as like androgyny Bought both stuff, but that yeah. clash of everything together yeah. is so it sick. Opens up room for expression in men. Yeah, there's an increased use of fabrics which are traditionally reserved for women's wear oh. that have been seen in this fashion week. Yeah, that's one of the things that I've loved about this fashion yeah. week. There was fur in this show as well. Like, there's yeah. been fur yeah. in every show. I loved it. I'm not gonna lie to you. Nah, yeah. nah. Honestly, it's honestly, amazing. I think it's this amazing. was one of the stronger showings out of out of the catalogue yeah. and that's saying something because this fashion week was, had a was, ton of heavy i mean all around no what did no heavy okay <laughs> no because obviously i speak a lot about men's in the in the group chat but what did i say fam what I, no have i have i been saying this or am i mm. am i joking or am i lying mm. like but let the people know i've been i've been talking about men's wear for the know longest what's actually funny so every time i go to fashion week yeah all the women are like i hate women's fashion week everything like you see the same dresses, the same thing. Men's wear, it's experimental, it's new, it's fresh. But I think and then after Fashion Week, I'm seeing articles about art and fashion, men's fashion week. And I'm just like, yeah, what are these guys talking about? Did you come to Fashion Week? Because everyone there is like, we prefer men's fashion week because it's yeah. so experimental now. Mm, like, mm. even the <laughs> way some designers Bro, I'm are I'm so designing, in love, I'm not even going to lie The way you. some designers are designing, like, you expect some things to be feminine. Yeah. But they're like, really, what's feminine about a glove? Like if it's a skirt oh, or a dress, yeah. it's a different thing. So they're really pushing the envelope and saying this stuff. Yeah, is not in even different that ways. Anyway. Yeah. No, because obviously before, like, like five years ago, that would not have been the case. Yeah. You would not see that type of glove on Men's Fashion Week. Yeah. But yeah, something happened about five or six years ago where it was like men's wear is just like gonna act different. Like obviously we spoke about um, streetwear a little bit earlier, but like just the designers are acting different, and it just like allowed people to think outside the box i don't yeah. know what it was like it's something around the like um the fashion mm. the margella fashion show when like um galliano took over and the, that couture show i don't i don't know yeah. i'm like yeah. galliano's yeah, yeah. racist ass like, like i hate him a lot he's one of the best like couturiers that we have all the, what he's been doing at margella Bro, amazing it's I been amazing know, really. But yeah, like around that time, like, because obviously that's the one show that I understand, like, when that happened, that reminds me of 2016. Yeah. But like, mm. 
Yeah, something happened around them times <laughs> where like everybody just kind of agreed to like experiment more with menswear because Dior was like mm. suits. Yeah. Basically. Like every show was just suit, 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 yeah. suit, 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 suit. Like before Kim Jones, before did, you Kim think Jones. Of, did you ever think of Dior menswear? Bro, no, no, no. 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 Post, post <laughs> Eddie, post yeah. Eddie pre Kim, that is a dead end. But there's a little, Dior. there's no, there's there's Raph that happened. Yeah, a but the, bit. when yeah. Raph was at Dior, but people don't think bit. of of they Raph Dior yeah. in terms yeah. of like ready to wear. People think of Raph Dior in terms of couture, not really mm. his mm. ready to mm. wear. Cl- when we're talking ready to wear, that's more Adi Saman mm. and Kim Jones and mm. the rest, no one cares. Exactly. Like, then you, th- that's like ready to wear. Then if you think of like Couture, that's John Galliano and then yeah. Matt Simmons. Like, I, I think mm. what it is, is that um the whole show looked wearable, but it was also experimental. Like, I think that's what like, what, it, it this, gets, this like, what gets me about yeah. like Kim yeah. Jones' deal is like, Everything can be wearable. You can at least pick one piece from every single look and be like, I could possibly wear that. Like, not saying that you'll buy it or, like, you fully want it and it's, like, engaging you, but yeah. you'll be like, I can, I can think of a style to fit that and all of that, and, like, on yeah. every single piece. But same way, there's um, a colour scheme that's flowing. There's an experimental yeah. scene yeah. that's flowing. The colour palette was really nice, but... Everything, like, and yeah. it just, it feels like, okay, we're trying something. Like, and everybody's just been trying this season and all of that stuff. So I enjoyed it, man. Well, what Kim Jones gives yeah. you is actually, he gives you stuff that's wearable, but it's not basic. Yeah. It's like experimental at the same time. It's very wearable at the same time. It's unique. So those I, three things is also why he sells a lot. Like yeah. he is, they said like, since he joined Dior, like um, revenue has gone up by like 200% yeah. or something crazy like that. So... Yeah. yeah, I think that's part of the appeal of him as a yeah. as a designer, and I think that's honestly why it was such a smart mm. decision for Dior to recruit him as creative director. It was a bit weird because like the last thing he'd done was LV Supreme, mm. and I didn't, yeah. I did, I didn't know but, how that was gonna work. I'm not even gonna lie to you. <laughs> I was like, is, he's done LV Supreme. The thing is, <laughs> you know what I mean? He's in that front. He's a market. He's great at marketing. He understands, bro. At that point, yo, Supreme is very logo centric. LV, a lot of the garments are very logo centric. They fall into that logo, or at that time, they fell into that logo mania sort of front. Yeah. What you saw, the, 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 the LV you like saw people wear, time. the LV you saw people wear, it was mainly it was mainly girls with yeah. LV bags, LV luggage, that sort of stuff, LV wallets. Like to me, yeah. To me, it made sense doing that collaborating with a hype based a logo centric brand or supreme makes some pieces that aren't logo centric yeah i'm not really cool yeah i'm not gonna say that it was terrible but like when you're thinking about lv supreme and you think dior like when you start saying dior you're like high fashion menswear like my dad is a billionaire and like i'm a (laughs) i'm an heir to like the throne and i'm gonna (laughs) inherit bare money and yeah i wear dior that's what you think you think about the guy that can buy Lux everything. Dior is like an upper echelon of Lux. Like you can't buy Dior online. Yeah. yeah. You know that. You actually can't buy it online. Like they Yeah, so like, like it's like so when you're like that, you're like, okay, yeah, he can do like luxury stuff, but when it comes to like tailoring, like I didn't think that this level of like now I'm like fully the engaged thing in these Dior tailoring. Is way ahead of like Louis Vuitton, it's like Highly yeah, considered high. Like, but at the same time, Louis Vuitton is like a luxury fashion house, so I don't expect mm, that yeah. from um, Louis Vuitton. But yeah. I do expect it from Dior. So yeah. it just like yeah. the correlations. Like there was just too yeah, many clicks. mismatches. It comes but, down to the history of a brand. Like, yeah, Louis Vuitton is based on luggage. Dior is actually not just based on luggage. It's based on clothes. Yeah, yeah so it's based on why you the man yeah. that invented yeah, exactly. ready to wear. Like, like <laughs> <laughs> man, like Christian. But nah. I think Kim Jones, though, he's really been shining at, um, at Dior compared to Louis yeah. Vuitton. And Louis Vuitton, he's ready he's to been wear. He's been shining. It was, it was all right, but people weren't really checking for it like that. But Dior, but every collection has just been... Do he you, came into his own you, round yeah. supreme you time. Think, it was a weird thing. Do you think it's because of the collaborations that he's managed to... Um, while whilst he's at the all I do ask myself do those questions. That's part of the Dior. buzz, but the pieces I like aren't even collaborations. Though. No, it's, it's true. Like it's with true. the Daniel Arsham collection, there were these pieces that were three D printed, and they yeah. had like the yellow piece. That piece was amazing. That had nothing Bro. to do with the collaboration, but everyone's just like, "Oh, Remoa, 
Dior or uh, Arsham, the caps, Ooh. decayed. Yeah, it was cool. Talking, but, of, like, talking of 3D pr- printed pieces. Yo, you know on the Ann show, those trousers that... Yeah, oh, yeah, bro, yeah, they... Yeah. they the, oh, no, no, no. Back, one, one, back one, 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 <laughs> one, last, one last note on Ann. One last Anne. note on Ann. Man found a way to bro. get back to <laughs> Ann. One <laughs> last note. Bro, <laughs> the women's jumpsuit, which had that sort of fabric, yeah. and the men's trousers, yeah. it gave me such fucking Iris Van Herpen vibes. Yeah. Like, it just bent, the light went through them in... Yeah. Oh, man. Nah. <laughs> No. <laughs> I told you one, but I'm not even gonna say anything. I think. One brand as good as Easter, one brand. It, I think that, like, even though we kind of missed it, but we kind of, you know, this is mm. a nice segue to it. It's a cold war. Yeah. Like Samuel Ross and um, him coming to Milan. Yeah. And uh, mm. him deciding that he's not gonna do streetwear no more, but he yeah. like decided he's not gonna do tech wear, not gonna do like super brutalism. He's right. not gonna do exceptional um avant-garde stuff either so everything was very like okay we're in milan yeah, yeah. so i started thinking prada like that was my first thought <laughs> my first uh, yeah my first thought was he's looking like prada to, yeah. me, to me like it was yeah. like okay that because I, obviously i made a video about it and stuff but um my first thought was Prada. but what were you guys' first thoughts so are you saying prada in the sense that it's got that it can do that luxe sort of sports yeah. wear but it's, it's also him showing his versatility. It's This is like a departure from his core fan base at the moment. Literally. And it's a literally. very, I think it's a very brave decision, but I, I'm, I'm all here for it. I'm yeah. all here for the for this departure because it shows what a versatile designer he is. He shows that he can do this boxy tailoring. He can do this nice tailoring, but he also knows how to hit the market for that luxe streetwear, luxe athleisure. That's the sort of shit that, bro, a lot of men, a lot of men, what they want from fashion, it's comfort. Yeah. Bro, that, why, why do you think athleisure is such a... That's gangster right big, there, fam. <laughs> why do you think athleisure is such a big thing in menswear? Yeah. Why do you think streetwear, why, fear of God, Jerry Boys got big when they did during that early era of fashion or for menswear? For menswear, yeah. But, but, new but menswear us, renaissance. Whilst, we're, whilst yeah. we're growing up, yeah. for streetwear. It's because it's comfortable. Rick, comfortable. A lot of the cult followed brands have things in, one huge thing in common is that it's very comfortable to wear. It's quite easy to style and it just looks clean. Yeah. It just looks nice. Yeah. I enjoy, like I enjoyed the show so much, but it's like, um, like you said, it's a departure from the main one and stuff. <clears throat> But the sa- in the same token, it's like, I felt like he wanted people to buy. Like, he wanted to just grow yeah. his fan base ridiculously. Like, you know when um someone has a core fan yeah. base and, like, yeah. they feel really good in singing or, or like, rapping and, like, they've got, like, yeah. um, good tunes. They wanted to make hits. So yeah. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's one did. of the things he did tell me personally. Like, yeah. he said that he wants to build the revenue. I'm not going to give specific figures, yeah. so I'm not sure if he, like, wants me to do that, but... He wants to build. I can guess because I can, I yeah. can, I can yeah. see. It. I can I see. It. Like, yeah, but do you want to pick up that name you just dropped? Okay. <laughs> do you want to just like? <laughs> oh, yeah, that's the one thing you told me personally. <laughs> 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 you want to just pick that up? <laughs> 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 but obviously, I'm not going to disclose it. But obviously, I did. Okay, so this is what Ross, this yeah. is what I guessed right when I was looking at. I was like. Okay, he wants people to buy. That was the first thing. Yeah. He wants to yeah. expand his fan base. And what better place to do that than in Milan, um, Milan where you can get um, the pe- the manufacturers, where you can get like the right fabrics and all of these yeah. stuff, and like you can everything can be streamlined in Milan, mm, yeah. and like you can get whatever fabric you want, you can get whatever manufacturer you want, and what what you're making can be made, yeah. and it can be cheaper than it is in England, like right well, well right well, here, yeah. Not to get political with it, but it also makes sense with it's the upcoming Brexit cool. and everything. Yeah. Moving, yeah. moving <laughs> all of his production to Europe. It, yeah. It's a no-brainer. It's it a no-brainer, sense. honestly. But, uh, bro, honestly, before this, you you know what you know what I'm into. Yeah. You know what I like dressing like. A cold wall blatantly was not in my wheelhouse. Yeah. But after this, there's a couple shirts that I saw. This, like I saw you thinking, this, like yeah, 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 yeah. And it's after this, shirts. it gives me justification to actually mm. check them out during each fashion week because I'm excited. He's shown all this versatility. I'm excited to see 
what rabbit hole he's going to pursue yeah. and go down, whether he's going to specialize in certain, mm. with, with certain collections, specialize yeah. down that athleisure vibe, whether with others he's going to be like, okay, cool, right, I'm going to do some do something for the P Womo dons and <laughs> all of that, you know? Like, no, 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 no. You get what I mean? Like, for the menswear, for the menswear crowd. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, yeah. no, but you get what I mean. You get what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> the P Womo dons. No, I'll carry on no, about. No, no. You call me the Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, oh. but, but you get what I mean. He's shown he's shown versatility. We know he can do tech wear. We know he can yeah. do brutalist. We know he can now do tailoring. <sighs> we know he can do athleisure. Fam. What's next? What's no, next for like, Samuel Ross? Like there's some there's some things that like people like won't get when it comes to like all of this tailoring and stuff. It's like the volume that he was showing in like mm. just in the pieces, like the yeah. volume. Like being able to do that, like cutting it in the right way so that it has volume but it's still mm. fitted. Yeah. And all like the trousers with the shirts, and, like every single one, like just had volume. And like he done the straight shoulders and like you saw that, but they went straight down, but then they were tapered at the same time. It was like, like with me, it was just like so mad the way that everything was just crisp. Like, because you know the way like Virgil got scored for like his tailoring, like yeah. when he first went to LV, it, like. It like was said into it. Yeah, he. Way. Yeah. It was, <laughs> it was bad, right? bro. Things weren't, things weren't fitting on the models properly. Oh, like, bro. He was like, moving mad. He was yeah, moving mad. He was moving mad. But and he's, he's getting better. He's getting better with time. You it know? was, yeah, we'll speak about that later. But like, yeah. just everything was just precise. Like, yeah. there was precision. It was like precision chic. That's mm. what I called it. Like, that's what my uncle would call us. Like, all of that stuff that like, was just made like what oh bro like yeah. i like mm. just when because we we can say tailoring but like just like the little like the nuances that like yeah. just a normal consumer wouldn't even understand like yeah. <clears throat> yeah like obviously we know like we know that getting skinny jeans is hard yeah. but like at the same t- uh, at the same time it's like getting volume that looks tailored it's yeah. like it's just a different ball game within yeah. itself oh, yeah 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 like, yeah, I just getting enjoyed the proportions, it. Yeah, getting the proportions right. I fully enjoyed oh, it. Oh man, what did you think about the colors, though? The colors, like, <clears throat> I was like, because he started with blue, was it, or was it green? No, he started with he green. Started with the grayish, the earthy, grayish. No, earthy. earthy, earthy no, yeah, was it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. brown. Was it? Br- no, it wasn't brown. No, he had nah, some brown. Yeah, yeah, yeah there was some brown. brown. There was some yeah. earth tones. No, oh yeah, this is what happened. Like he started with like green, like because obviously. um my, like I'm gonna harken back to my articles a lot if you haven't told. <laughs> tell uh, that. Yeah. I said like green's the color of the season, obviously. Yeah. So Shameless like, plug. <laughs> <laughs> and why typical dot net? Might as well do the whole thing. But yeah, um, I said like green's the color of the season. So like he started out with my color of the season. I got to say that you know you know I mean yum yum yum. But mm. literally, and then like I was like, why isn't he doing gray? Like because yeah. obviously gray in my mind he does like excellent grays. And then like near the end of the show he done some grays. And I was like, okay. This is it. Yeah. This is what. This and is his that home. Cobalt blue as well. Yeah. It was ma- like all the colors were mad. Ross without brutalism in some form. Bro. It's not possible. You need yeah, it. It has no. to have a no. grey look. It's just not like it just doesn't make sense if a cold wall doesn't have a grey look. Like, yeah. is it even a cold wall? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was the whole point. It's called a cold wall. It's about yeah. brutalism. Yeah. Like, yeah. But yeah, what do you think about the colors then? Apart from the cool book blue, like Bro. just the whole scheme, the whole scheme, <laughs> Bro, no, the I palette, think, everything. I like the palette. I liked the palette for this show. I think it showed that he can do more than just brutalism. Yes. He can do the brutalism still, but he can also bring in cool color palettes, flashes of color, basically to appeal to, yeah. as, as I said, he's looking to appeal to a wider audience. Yeah. There are people who do want to wear mm. colors. There's people who want to wear earth tones. There's people who want to wear these loud colors as yeah. well. And prior to this, they weren't necessarily getting that from a cold wall. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they may I, have liked yeah. the cuts of the garments and everything, but I don't even think so. Like what yeah. I said was like the Shoreditch man them. Like they're gonna enjoy they're this. Eating. Like the brothers, <laughs> the brothers, the, the brothers that like to dress chic are gonna enjoy mm, what yeah. he's giving. Basically, yeah. like all of like 
I was thinking like just like what will like the fashion forward man think about like especially like man them like from ends and all of that stuff. I was just thinking, hmm, they like it just came to me where it was like, you know, like um, what's the dude's name? Um, damn, Soraka. No, 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 no. Um, he's an English artist. So Rock, Br- he dresses very yeah. much. The British, the yeah, British, yeah. you know, the British. Yeah. Yeah. Nah, fits genuinely, so genuinely. That guy is, bro. Man. What's the British artist? The black guy with the beard and the really deep voice. What? And um, <laughs> Koji Radical. Yeah, yeah, Koji. yeah the Koji, Koji. Radical type yeah, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Like, there's a lot. Not a man with a beard. Yeah, but like the way, like the way he dresses, like he would appreciate, mm. like guys like him would appreciate yeah. everything he, he that's happening. Experimental stuff. Yeah. Like, there's a store oh, in London called a uh, Closet Case. Yeah, yeah. And every time I go there, they're like, "Yo, Koji Radical came," and they stock like Boris Bajan, like Ziggy mm. Chen. So yeah, the way yeah, he yeah. dresses is like mad experimental. Bro, he has some cool fat. He has yeah. a cool fashion sense. He does, he honestly, does. honestly. Um. Where was I going? I had another train of thought pop in. I was going to say, nah, with this season, I don't think it's one for the influencers. Not one for the influencers. Not at all. This is like a departure from influencers used to love a bit of a cold war. The logo. Bro, bro, they used to love it. Tag a cold war. They're like, ooh, man, I'm dripping. (laughs) That's that. No, no, no. See, this is a part of Insta that you man are part of that I am not. Like, yeah. You know me, like I don't even have followers like that. Like I've always been like too low key. Like that, but yeah. they come up on my explore yeah. page. They come so up on the annoying. feed. They come up on the it's feed. So <laughs> like I'm like I'm always like <laughs> like like oh. the people that I don't want to be like or I don't want to like yeah. I don't feel like care about fashion the way that it's supposed to be cared about. Like they just don't show up and like I don't. It depends not, on the not type to be of offensive. person you are, though. It yeah. depends because yeah. there are some people that wear not a cold wool. Like, yeah. if I wore it, I've known Sammy Ross since yeah, you started yeah. the brand. Like, like, yeah. since we, if I'm wearing, to be fair, just wear a cold wool just to support Like, him. you got the hat yeah. as well, That's a bit it? different to just, like, wearing it for clout. But oh, yeah, for I'm wearing clout. the logo. Yeah, yeah. It's like exactly, exactly. Yeah, if you know, you know what time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, like, I, I heard, yo, I'm at him. I'm at him someone. I'm calling him out. Joel, you know from Galax? Yeah. Yeah. In his thing, he was like ten thing, ten brands that need to die in the Can new we talk year. About this? He said, he "What said, a cold go, go, He said, "A cold war is dead, and that Samuel Ross does not have a pulse." Yeah, yeah, well, I, I cannot disagree oh more. I have to talk about this. Oh my god, I have to talk about this. <laughs> Man, sweat. You want to take wanna... off your jacket, fam? You want to rumble, Ooh. fam? <laughs> oh, bro, I don't want to talk bad about any influencers, <laughs> no, but. No. First of all, Galax. Bro, man said, Joel, man said, you know like, what? Fashion <laughs> is your full-time job. So you, yeah. your job is just to know what's going on in fashion and you don't even know what's going on. He was talking about like people wearing the logos and stuff yeah. as if like A Cold War is not on the runway at all. It's yeah. like the only A Cold War you see is that just like Selfridges. Is that the only place yeah. you see A Cold War? Haven't you seen the runway? Like it's tailoring. And mm. he was like, oh, I just hate A Cold War. Samuel Russ is not like... He's not a good designer bro, anymore. And I was just literally, like, I was like, I can't disagree more. Bro, bro, this like, is the same man. No, nah, this is the same man. This is the same man that says, I love boxy tailoring. Yo, what did Samuel Ross give him? This, no this offense, collection. No offense to Galax, but if you're going to diss Offense Samuel to Ross, him. If you're going to diss Samuel Ross, please look at yourself. Like, bro. everything Galax wears is what is popular in the mainstream. I've never seen him go against the grain once. Yeah. Just buy something he likes. He bought the Bottega Veneta Chelsea boots because because they were popular. They were popular. Because he bought the yeah, Dior was... like B23s because they're yeah. popping. He bought cold laundry because they're popping. Like bro, there's there's nothing. Like, look at look at look in the mirror. Like I don't yeah. want to be like mean, but like look in the mirror before you yeah. start saying like designers that have a pulse when yeah. you haven't even like taken the consideration to look at what they're yeah. doing on the yeah, runway. Yeah, like, exactly. There's there's nothing wrong. I had with... to take my, my jacket off. Oh no, nah, honestly, honestly, yeah. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with approaching. Bro, you know me, fam. Level. I will say it. I will. I will, like. I. I'm not. I'm yeah. not like a super yeah. fan of yeah, all yeah, of yeah. these influencers. You man know. Like, I. Like, I care about you guys. You like. Obviously, you man wouldn't. Like, I wouldn't. Oh, what's up, oh what? What's good, what's good bro? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. It's calm, it's calm. Uh, um, no, it's calm. Like, yeah, yeah, no, yeah it's calm. we're so good. Are you yeah. aware that you're not in your house, but you're alone in a room? Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 this nigga, man. It's funny, bro. Well, yeah, like, um. You're talking about, like. Yeah, you're talking about. Yeah, nuances. like, like, I'm not. You know, yeah, fam, like, I'm not gonna lie to you. Like, obviously, like, in music, I know more influences because, um, of, like, you know, yeah, the man yeah. that was in this yeah, building yeah, and yeah, stuff yeah, like that. Course. But it's like, um, like I said on my podcast, even same way, like, you, man, were saying, it's like, do your research and yeah. don't be subpar when you're making your opinions. Yeah. Like, yeah. if you're a subpar stylist or you're a subpar chic person or like you're a hype beast, don't be speaking on stuff that you ain't no jack sh- about. Like, <laughs> it's not, mm. this video needs to be monetized. <laughs> no, no, it's, gonna, it's gonna sound like we're being elitist. But no, but it's, it's, it's not about like, being elitist. Like, fashion is a full time job. This, no, yeah. it's, it's at the same way, it's like, it's not about being elitist, it's about like having the right or that you have the right to say something, but you don't have the right to be mm. wrong. If you uh, so you need to be checked on when it's you're like wrong. If fashion is your full time job. There's no excuse because there's people like Bliss Foster who has a day job. Yeah. And if yeah. you look at the type of opinions, how well considered his stuff is. Yeah. Even someone like Butler Mode, he's a student. Yeah. His full time job is not even fashion. So for you, that your full time job is fashion, and you make such an uneducated opinion, like Sam Ross doesn't have a pulse. Um, I'm tired of the stuff he does because it's all logos. That's like, ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. haven't seen anything he's done in the past like yeah. two, three years. I don't even it like. Is. I've never even seen that video. I don't, like. Oh, but you don't want to watch it. You don't, watch it. You don't want to watch that's it. That's hilarious, if you, bro. If you have a platform, if you have a platform, I think you have a responsibility to ensure that you're not spreading misinformation. I agree. You can you can be very open about something and say this is my opinion, but. The thing is, is the to say something so misinformed like Samuel Ross's brand is dead, just just simply because you don't see people wearing the logo, the logo centric content. That's how he content. views fashion, though. It's yeah, yeah, yeah. If I get what you it's mean. It's what's popping on Instagram. And no, that. but like the thing is, popping. he's got so fashion, many. But he doesn't view it that way. Yeah, I know. He view Wait, it that what? Way. Like <laughs> obviously, <laughs> like. I'm sorry, guys, but I don't even know who the fuck you are. But at the same time, <laughs> it's like, yeah, like, I don't know him from Adam, but like, I don't want to have like a terrible relationship with you. But from nah. what you man are yeah. saying, it's like, you should like, first of all, he's obviously got a massive mm. fan base. I know that much, huge isn't it? Yeah. Huge so fan like base. when you're saying stuff like that, like you can't be moving like that. You can't, you can't be moving like that when you have a massive fan base. Yeah. And we're talking about art. Like yeah. this, the, this the other thing. Like when you're talking about art, you have to be right. Like yeah, like people say yeah, 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 subjective, all of this, all of that. But same way, we're talking about art, so you need to be um, considerate to the art that's being displayed in mm. front of your face. So if you're not yeah. being considerate, then but your opinion is not referenced. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, exactly. No, I'm <laughs> like as I said, I, I don't think he's looking at it from. I don't know him from perspective. Yeah. I don't hasn't seen yeah. it in the influencer sphere yeah. for a while. So he's assumed, oh, no, it's a dead brand. But, or I don't like it yeah, because it's lost the cloud. But you haven't seen it because he hasn't seen it. But at the same yeah. time, it's like, you can't, yeah, you just can't be saying but this that. This is why I love like where influencers are going. Like even just look on YouTube. Yeah, like, just the us. The type of YouTube <laughs> like now. Us. Soon, <laughs> all it. these like guys who just make all these opinions about any, like they're all going to be weeded out. There's like you, mm. you, me, Bliss, Hawk. Like, it's getting to a point where the bar is starting to be raised so high that you can't just come here and, like... Just yeah, us men have been doing research and we've been about this. We've been having yeah. to fight for our right to wear whatever the fuck <laughs> we want to wear. So, yeah. everybody's out here that tries to, like, just yeah. even like, comment. It's like... Yeah. People have been telling me I dress shit for years, fam. Like another person, <laughs> another person saying that that will probably do the same thing in two years' time isn't gonna bother me at all, fam. So yeah. like that's what that's what I come from. To me, just style I come, is yeah. individual to people. Yeah, yeah. So exactly. Style it's, should be unique to yourself. It's, so it's like all three of us now are yeah. totally different. That's Complete, like, and we're yeah, all, and we're all right with it. And this is the yeah. that's lo- that like I love yeah. that so much. And we come from different like. Different yeah. Obviously, we're from the same place, but at the same yeah. time, we have like different influences. Exactly. Like, yeah. I'm more Dior, you're more mm. Andy, you're more Eddie. It's like, yeah. Yeah. but yeah, we yeah, all yeah. have the same understanding yeah. that this is art exactly. and we can exactly. express yeah. each ourselves to whatever way we want to. Yeah. Mm. There's no wrong way to dress, but there, isn't. But there, there is a wrong is opinion wrong, to have. No, there's, <laughs> but there's a wrong way to approach. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get to that. So, okay. 
no dressing to me is bad because it's also yeah. attractive. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, that's, that's, yes. that, that only comes into effect when you dress to what you like and you dress yeah. uniquely. If the way you dress yeah. is based on not even what you like, but just what's popular and you do it for likes and views, aka Gallup, then <laughs> at that point, <laughs> Damn, it's true, but yeah. at, that, yeah. at that point, then it now becomes... Like, and this is spicy! <laughs> It becomes a bit difficult. Yeah. It, it really becomes a bit difficult at that point. That's jokes. Oh, fam. <laughs> but I feel like... I'll give a disclaimer. This this honestly wasn't meant to diss you. It um, is, but it's, it's all right. Nah, it's not meant <laughs> to diss you. No, I'm joking. I'm you're, joking. You're, you're I don't lovely, know. You're a lovely person independently, Ross, but... Like, yes. You just, that can't run. But yeah, you can't... Yeah, like... Um, same way you're allowed to say that opinion, we're allowed to say your opinion is shit. I think that's fair enough, right? In a public sphere. In a yeah, public sphere, like, yeah. you should be open yeah. to your opinion being disagreed Yeah, with. exactly, yeah. That's and if and you still think Samuel Ross yeah. is rubbish after this show, cool, but you lose credibility among the people that care about fashion. That's and Joe, Joe's a nice guy. I'm not yeah, saying, exactly. like, I'm not saying he's a... T- yeah. Yeah. I don't yeah. know him. Yeah. I'm not... I'm not yeah, I don't, yeah, like, yeah, like, yeah. We no. do, but he, like, I don't, he's I don't a nice guy. He's a lovely bloke. Sometimes, when fashion's your full-time job, and like, considering you don't really dress individually and like for what you like like <laughs> okay everyone, no, no no like everyone okay. else like sanjeev <laughs> and bliss and everyone else sanjeev dresses so well oh my to, like, god what they buy what they like yeah. you guys got me into sanjeev everyone else I'm not even buys what they like like greg yeah buys what he like Ruff. and that's why sanjeev dresses them dresses different to greg who dresses different to alec yeah who dresses different to you because Ruff. everyone has an individual style but gallup dresses like every other influencer i see on instagram yeah yeah, and it's it's quite easy to see. So it's just it's not even a personal attack. It's just okay. The the way he views I fashion, think <laughs> you can't make opinions like that. The next time, I agree. the next. I agree. All right, yeah. Anyway. So I feel like oh, a nice oh, segue. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. Wait, before we, we move on from a cold wall. wall yeah. Before we move on from a cold wall, I want to ask about your guys' take on Samuel releasing the hardware for individuals to actually use in their own pieces and creating their own yeah. pieces in their DIY construction where they can support the brand, they can rep the brand, but they can have their own vision of what a cold wall is. Right. I want to ask for your guys. Can you take can you that. explain more about that for like the people listening? Yeah, that don't so understand. essentially essentially um, Samuel Ross is selling like tags, yeah. hardware, um, I think he's selling the belt buckles oh, yeah. and everything. Yeah. So people can use these materials mm-hmm. which Samuel himself would pre made materials. Pre made materials. Yeah. In their own Yeah. That creations. have a cold wall branding and stuff. Yeah, that have that, a cold yeah. wall branding and yeah. Yeah, like um <clears throat> I feel like it's a more subtle version of what um Heron Preston represents where it's like um mm. he says if you make a replica of his clothes then like that's your piece at the same time. Like yeah. He doesn't mind replicas being made same way that like a lot of other artists mind replicas being made but this is a more okay i know you guys are gonna make replicas regardless but yeah. can you like you have the option to work with me on this and this yeah. is like yeah um i want to compare it to what elon musk done with like making the open patent for the tesla um yeah, yeah, car yeah. like battery and stuff like that it's like allowing people to represent the ideas in whatever way mm. they feel it needs to be represented or the way that they like it being represented or like or like how margella used yeah. to share like the like the sock the sock sweater yeah, yeah. etc so things that you can create at home yeah for belt jacket who are all of that in, stuff yeah. who are interested you know in samuel fashion. ross talks about it himself um on the bof the business of fashion um i thought you were about to drop BOF, another sorry. conversation that you no, had no no no, no. <laughs> hype beast was it hype beast radio yeah yeah um yeah, was that with Jeff I Staple? Think. Yeah, Jeff Staple. Okay. Um, Samuel Ross had a was on the podcast recently, and okay. they asked him about like the hardware and stuff, and he said, "I'm still to watch it." He understands that like there are people who can't afford his clothes. Yeah. However, he understands that there are people who love his brand, who have an elevated sense of style, so he trusts them to take the pieces of his hardware and make a really good tailored jacket with it. That's a good so, idea. Like, yeah. Now I like, <laughs> I like the idea in theory yeah but okay so, <laughs> he thinks, wait, he thinks, wait 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 this is what Say i what think, think is gonna happen <laughs> this is what i think is gonna happen okay so you see your little e-boys you see your little hype beasts that love showing a little logo ah uh, you know those little padlock the necklaces little man. i think they're gonna turn into oh 
yo, you know, I can, I can flex for, for 20 quid still. Yeah. I can, I can make myself a little DIY cold wool necklace. Or I can make myself a little DIY, a cold wool bracelet by just adding this bit of hardware <laughs> onto... <laughs> nah, honestly, I want to see people making amazing pieces with this hardware I understand and what you're saying. I understand pieces, what you're saying. But I understand what you're saying. I don't. That is the other end of the spectrum seeing, like, where yeah. it's like <laughs> the so under, you the under twenty ones that are just getting into fashion <laughs> that don't understand the F one. You know the Air Force One custom, bro. Yeah, you know they love to put everything. Oh on the yeah, Air Force you know, you know, you know. That's so uh, happening. so one of the buckles into it and just. You know that's happening now. Yes. You've spoken, <laughs> spoken this into the world. <laughs> that's gonna happen, fam. I feel like Bro. a nice departure from Sam Ross is um talking about off white because yeah. I feel like they were quite similar when they were mm. talking about no street wear and then like what I saw with off white um mm. wasn't. It's like, still a bit street wear. No, it's it not it was like more elevated. I'm, yeah, I'm gonna get to yeah. that, but the it's like from there's the no floor. there's no yeah. saying that there's no mandem influence in that, but it's like obviously me, um as like well people that know me know or like if yeah. you read my articles it's like i think of it as the current state of menswear yeah like menswear is tech wear menswear is streetwear menswear is um sharing clothes menswear is feminine menswear is queer menswear is masculine like yeah. menswear is all of those things yeah. into one so i don't really care what like you saying streetwear is dead isn't like it's a tongue in cheek way of just saying um it's not just streetwear. It yeah, is right. just menswear, right. in my opinion. Like that's how I interpret that phrase. Like I haven't yeah. even listened to the um listened to the video or read the article. But when you say men, a streetwear, is that I'm like, men are still gonna wear hoodies regardless. Yeah, like bro. people still need to go gym. People are still gonna be cold in autumn time. Like hoodies are gonna be here forever. What he meant by streetwear is that there's this whole thing where you're gonna see streetwear on the runways, like expensive hoodies and stuff like that on the runway but streetwear can't die because everyone's gonna need a There's hoodie always yeah. Yeah. yeah men There's are like always yeah and i'm always I gonna, gonna see a my favorite artists or yeah. basketball players so streetwear is never gonna go really. exactly yeah it just means in the high-end sphere because he was really the person that brought that in the first place yeah so yeah yeah so it yeah. had nothing to do people when they hear streetwear said they're like oh is a fight gonna go no like that Obviously. just has nothing to do with it Obviously, it's not going to go. Yeah. Essentially, it's impossible for streetwear to die. But as you said, yeah. it's how well. When we look at this off-white show, we can see how he's envisioning the transition of the brand. Yeah. Where he's moving it from that streetwear base and that core fan base, that right. more height-oriented um, support. Yeah. To showing that there's versatility and honestly honestly um i was actually impressed with this collection and i was impressed with virgil for his showing at this fashion week because yeah. it's not nah, it's very rare it's very <laughs> i see that look in your eyes <laughs> <laughs> so what nah, you're saying it's, <laughs> it's very rare for a creative director at a big fashion house to avoid creative burnout and and avoid having their own brand suffer. This, for me, is one of Off White's best showings in years. Yes, it was this to me as well. gives life <clears throat> to the brand. Okay, this is where this is this is where um I fully well, because like I've been saying for like years now, I feel like LV has been taking his source mm. basically, and like if we saw some of the things that he's been doing with LV bar this show that like I feel was just yeah, out of this world. Remember, LV's budget and off white's budget yeah two different two different yeah yeah like because I, I was just thinking like if you see what he's done with LV on off white we're gonna be like he's just a different man <laughs> but <laughs> like because it's LV you expect yeah, something because of their yeah. budget like. exactly and it's like you have every resource in the world no so excuse you, once you have everything yeah you know like exactly. your tailoring shouldn't be off them actually, type of things like that that little thing that's just a massive yeah. thing when it comes to yeah. art actually do you think that's maybe why being being creative director at louis has afforded him additional opportunities additional talents to work on off-white to improve the tailoring front and the design knowledge front 
because it's an experience. Because, yeah, because Virgil, Virgil, he's not he's not at heart a clothes designer. He's yeah. a marketer. He has a vision in his mind. He's an I'm not, no, wait, he's an wait, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I'm going to say he's, he's a designer. He is. He's a designer, he's but like, uh, yeah, he's not he's like, I went, yeah, I went fully to fashion school and then like, I spent 10 years being an yeah. intern. Like, he spent but a couple years being an intern. the product stuff he does is amazing. It's because Exactly, yeah. yeah. Like, like everything. people are downplaying all that IKEA stuff. You're forgetting this guy's an Bro. architect. This guy has like yeah. what a civil engineering degree. Like yeah, so like all of the yeah, yeah, all yeah, of yeah. the structural Honestly. design pieces yeah. that he's done are like all excellent. The hardware that yeah. Every bag that he's made, well, not everyone. That I would well, I yeah, not everyone, but like in like just the the majority of stuff that he's made in bags yeah. or like um in well not footwear. I don't really like off white footwear. That's a different conversation for a different day. Yeah. But um, just the general um accessories and licenses that um are afforded to him, it's like he can make those things. Yeah. And product design is like one of the things they teach you in yeah. architecture and stuff like that. And he he obviously can make that. You know, I think I think Virgil is as good as the design team that surrounds him. He is someone that helps feed others creative process he needs he, he relies on the others yeah. to create his vision that's what he done with um kanye in it like it was like yeah. kanye was like the crazy maniacal mind and he put structure around it and he said you ship it this way and do all of that stuff and that's what like all of them demna heron um Doncy, all of them people done with the first yeezy adidas show and like that yeah. show was amazing yeah. like because that um they had all this, the uh, Kanye's like maniacal genius mind and like um Virgil structure and like they yeah. were just in sync yeah. at that time but yeah as you were saying definitely definitely so yeah I think as I was saying Virgil is as good as the people he surrounds himself with he's people people downplay it but I think he's a solid creative mind as you said. Um, I think he's more than he, so. I think he's a genius. It's just he needs. He doesn't he have needs, the design he doesn't have the, skills yes, to translate exactly, the ideas. Exactly. He's growing them though. Yeah, exactly. he's growing them. But I think he's still a genius because you you have to be man. You have to be smart, bro. You got have a civil engineering damn. degree and that architectural masters. Bro. Look, honestly, no stupid person achieves that. So he's definitely a yeah, genius. It's yeah. Just, he doesn't have the design skill to translate all these mad ideas. Yeah, he's drama. never Bro, like. I think you gotta have. I think you yeah. gotta have a lot of something. Is this a different type you, of brain? Yeah, I think you gotta have a lot of science out there. He's a brain be box. To, yeah, the science, even with art, yeah, yeah, like yeah. With that's yeah. that's literally what I was that gonna say. Yeah. Like yeah. when you go to art school and you have to draw mm. characters and you mm. have to make up storylines and all of these yeah, type of things that like translate into fashion. Like he does, but he has the structural side of understanding. This piece may go with that piece and like what he's learned from Kanye and all of that stuff. Like that little whirlwind he's building up, but it's not like as massive as like a Margiela world basically yeah, it's not yeah. as massive as that but yeah. he's got his own little thing going on and it right. makes sense like and this show made sense and it was like okay we'll go it like but to me it was a lot of mandem it was like big city mm. type guy it was like um yeah it was just, it just felt big london energy that's like one of the yeah, main things that yeah. i had on it it's I like get what you mean. I get it what just you mean. had like yeah, like I'm a geezer, like I'm a ma- like, but obviously I I wear like I can dress what, well. Like skinny, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, the knitwear, the knitwear, the off white was, outfit. First of all, the knitwear was amazing. There was a yeah. lot of good stuff. The logos, he calmed Calm. down with the yes. logos, so people aren't just gonna buy this new season this because is, it says off white. Yes. This is understated for Virgil because he's like the main thing that he's like great at is graphic design. Yes. So that like toning down his graphic design and putting more his um intellectual knowledge on artistry and like making tailor and stuff like that has to be said because like he can make a graphic for days like that's what he's been doing since pyrex yeah. days yeah but like yeah, yeah. saying you know what i'm gonna put that away for a little bit and i'm gonna yeah. show you guys that i've been like bitching at me for mm. months and months and years and years to say look i could do this bro and like he came with it he came yeah. with good energy on the off-white show and yeah. like let's transfer to the lv show like yeah car <laughs> no i've got like me and me personally yeah as like, as you guys know i done a video on it i done the reaction video and yeah. i done the um comprehensive breakdown of my favorite yeah. looks 
and obviously like that was a hit with the people them that i'm like like all of the people them like the man them that i know like they were attracted to the type of stuff that he was doing and yeah, stuff yeah. like that like and like the shoes the mm, bags those boots look 29 look 30 those <laughs> boots bro i already got that drilled <laughs> in my <laughs> mind i already but, know oh nah, 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 nah. go on go, like, on, go on, the, on go on go on go on go on they got that sort of square toe but it's not in a way that it's cat. I want to see. I want to refresh it's, my mind. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, it's, speak, good, speak, speak. Yeah. Good. So it's not in a way that's catting anyone else with the square toe boots. Yeah. But, oh, bro, they look so sleek. They look so clean. They look so good with the tailoring mm. that has been done during this show. Yeah. And I'm looking forward to actually seeing people wear these pieces. I want to see these looks oh, live. Like bro. this, the one thing that like is. Talking about these ones. Ooh, no, nah, that's 39, 29. Oh, 29, 29. <laughs> <laughs> like, this show, particularly for me, Ooh, was like... The same wait, straps. one yeah, sec. Yeah, yeah. Let me... Bro, I'm not too let me about that. Like. 30, 30. The boots. The ah, boots, okay, 30, okay, 30. Yeah, look... Yeah, like, yeah, I yeah. think look they've 30, got the details in there, but, like... Bro. For me, yeah, it, nice it was boots. just... It was just nice interesting yeah, seeing, are, like, are, the upgrade. Like, everything yeah. just felt upgraded. The tailoring was impeccable. It was Honestly, upgraded. And that is a lot saying... Considering, Virgil, yeah, I've yeah, yeah, always been critical right. about the tailoring. <laughs> the stuff doesn't fit. The silhouette doesn't look right. You didn't get the volume correct. <laughs> oh, like, bro. But now, uh, yeah, like I can't say anything, which was strange because though the like tailoring was really good, for some weird reason, all everyone focused on was like that cloud print. Bro, like, that's just. A I, print. I could not give a fuck it's about just a the print. print. On a like, it's just a print on a suit. I, that's it. I could not give a like, fuck about the print, and I didn't. I didn't like the print. I didn't like the print. I'm here for the tailoring. Let's focus on the tailoring. Chill out, and the oh, chill, out, chill, out, chill, out, chill out, chill out, Like when you're <laughs> first coming into fashion, and like I said, Virgil was like one of the amazing graphic designers. Like yeah. when you come up with a graphic or a print that can be replicatable, and like doesn't exactly come from the LV archive. It just came yeah. from a mind, and then you're able to pull it on a suit pull it on a jacket, pull it on a shirt, put it on a tie, and, yeah. like, it works. The fact, no, because, like, like we were talking about on the com show, like, that type of stuff didn't work. And, like, we st- talk about um, Hader Ackerman and um, Dries, 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 like, that shit yeah. works, fam. But he oh, done his, like, <laughs> he done... Works, he's, Rob, it more than works, still. <laughs> he, like, he done his version, and it's like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. he done a print that, like, doesn't look gaudy. Like, that's one of the main things about prints is, like, they can look me, gorgeous. It's nice, I wouldn't me, wear it, though. Nah, I wouldn't also, wear it. I didn't it understand me. why it was so hype. Yeah, it honestly, it honestly gave me that okay, tie-dye did you, vibe. Did you guys... Tie-dye vibe. Yeah. Like, sky blue, sky blue tie-dye vibe. Did you guys nah, see nah. The, om, the ombre vibes that he had? Like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. The, yeah, the ombre, the ombre was hard. Like, hard. from the... What's it? Dope. Was it burgundy going up? Yeah. And, mm, even yeah. saw, like, a pink... Like, like pink yeah, suit. like... Yeah, they yeah. were mad. Are you yeah. sick? No, <laughs> like, like because this is like when you mi- when you like become minimalistic in your like graphic design and you don't overstate everything and it's like those little things like just mm. make it pop. You know what this collection reminded me of? Uh, Chris Van Ash, Baluti. Ooh, like even the yeah. footwear, the way the tailoring looks, and even yeah. the colors as well. Yes. Too. Chris Van Ness likes to use all these like Ooh. loads of colors. No, no, you know what I'd like to see then? There was you a lot of colour like switching. See. Yeah. There was a lot. I'd like to see some more patterners in the shoes. Yeah. Some more Yo. Louis is a luxury house. Yeah. I want to see some luxury production. Are you in gonna those see shoes. that though? No. Are you yes. gonna see a patina in them? Bro, I wanna see a patina in them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. Have you seen Baluti's footwear? Have you seen some of Baluti's no footwear? One can, no, I'm, I'm, Baluti's I'm footwear. no one can match. No one can match. I'm just but, talking about LV. Like, you want pristine. You want luxury. You want, this was made for me. I'm going to keep these clean for 100 years. I'm passing them down to my bag. son type stuff. Like, that's, like, mm. when you, put, like, um, like, when you talk about luxury and you talk about suit making and all of that and tailoring, it's like, you pass those type of stuff down to your son and then your yeah, son yeah, yeah. gets your suit maker and you introduce him but to that. But LB doesn't have LB that kind of heritage. Have that like heritage. Like what? Jacob it's 200 years, fam, not... isn't it? And oh, wait, no, it's 150. Yeah. Mark yeah. Jacobs literally just started it in, what, the 90s or something? Yeah. So it's really early. 
Like, but, but okay, I'm I'm talking about like just suit heritage, like the type, like when you're talking about tailoring, when you talk about the layering and like because LV making, doesn't have that heritage. No, though. it doesn't. It doesn't. Like um, that's talking more of like um Burberry and all of that stuff. Yeah, Balenciaga. Um, but at the same time, oh. when you care about suits, you understand mm. like that is what you're doing. Yeah. Like when when you're actually into suits, I should say, you know that this is for. Blah 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 blah. Yeah. When my blah blah blah. blah Why they're using X Men? Like, Why they? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and yeah. like, well, in my opinion, anyways, that's that's just my opinion. Like, cause I like when it like especially just like on my British side, when it's like yeah. not on artistry, like it's about layering, obviously because of London and all of yeah. <laughs> all of the stuff that we went through coming here and stuff. <laughs> Like layering and like just um pattern work. Well, not pattern, yeah. not really pattern work, but like just mixing and managing like um fabrics and thicknesses yeah, and all of yeah, that yeah. stuff. But yeah, like I like that's that makes sense to me in a little world. Yeah, like yeah, in yeah. A little world. I get I get what you mean. I think it's I think it's because I've seen this increase and how good the tailoring has looked this season that I'm wanting to see in future seasons him to push this to push boundaries yeah to push i don't think that. we're exactly gonna I, see that yeah i don't think we're I, but i, I doubt I we're gonna like see that this is but, the hype but at the same time he can push it further maybe in a yeah. couple of years but Bro. this theme i feel like is gonna carry on where it's like yeah. the high color switching and the high the gradients, like, gradients i want to see the gradients all of that. Like, i feel like all of those stuff is gonna carry on like especially when it comes to summer yeah. and you'll get you yeah, start yeah, getting yeah. to do prints yeah. like i feel like we're going to introduce that more and like um you know because lv has the flower and like all yeah, that stuff and like yeah, yeah. the the um what's the other one called like the the crest type thing like the the not the flower but the spiky one like right. i forget what it yeah, is yeah, yeah, yeah like, like the one that looks like a shuriken or whatnot <laughs> 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 but yeah like you, you can do you can like yeah because um on the LV twenty fifty four one, like he had that um, embossed type rainbow, yep. like camouflage, like you know them, yeah, t- yeah, like yeah, 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 that yeah. was immense to me, and like yeah. that's one of my most viewed videos because of the colors are in there, and like it makes people want to click it and like yeah. look, like because you you like to look at that type of stuff. It's yeah. just like an eye guys, and it's like eye candy for you guys. But yeah. I feel like that type of stuff is going to continue, like just that high level of, like it's obviously going to continue tailoring, but like just yeah. the way that graphics yeah. continue, yeah. it's going to continue. Like the way he's doing that, it's going to move up. Yeah, it'll definitely be fun to see how he implements graphics into the future collections, into mm. incorporating it into the tailoring, incorporating it into, even if it's just accessories for the tailoring, yeah, like, or accessories in general, like it'll it'll be fun it'll be fun definitely (laughs) um i think next is the undercover show so has everybody watched the undercover i haven't i I haven't i've I've seen i've seen like loads of images and i still know the concept because i heard it was amazing yeah like yeah it was a massively conceptual show yeah Yeah, like basically just to give a little low down before saw, we look like, at the video. Some, Ooh, like, actually, at the I end, someone was dancing bits. and like arrows yeah. were falling. That's, yeah. that's how it. That's how it starts and that's how it ends. Bits. Basically, it's like a massive storyline. Yeah. And it's like um, you know how like the Olympics are coming and stuff like this. How yeah, I'm talking. Yeah, yeah. It's like um, you know those like Talk Japanese yeah, anime yeah. storylines <laughs> and stuff like that. Like yeah. that type of stuff is like in like it's coming to engage the viewer. Like it's more because you know how like. I don't know whether you guys have heard this, but people have been saying like undercovers be like selling out, kind of like Conde Garcon and stuff mm-hmm. like that. And it's like um, they just want to like do collabs with you Nike. Mean, like, and where there was the under off yeah. white covers and, and then shit. What do the the prints based off, yeah. off like movies and stuff? And exactly. And but it it came like part of the Volgrunt. Find find the Volgrunt way. June. Oh, June yeah. Find, like like you, need, you guys, you got, like you guys need to look at at least the Volgrunt way looks like yeah. they are absolutely like that like because he went back yeah. to avant garde conceptual looks, but they're some like wearable pieces. It, I haven't hmm. looked too deep but yeah, well. like we need to look at it. Really, we need to look at it. Oh, need to make some. Internet working bleach, oh, bro. I got that E. <laughs> <laughs> I've got that E. 
as well. It's, it's looking peak. Yeah, it is. It is. Part and parcel of a basement, isn't it? <laughs> All right. <laughs> Back in action. That was not a <laughs> that was not an edit or point or anything, but yeah, um, I feel like um the conversation kind of goes into menswear because we've already spoke about like menswear fashion week and like what it is now. Also, talking like, about fashion week, yeah. Oh. What do you think about like collabs? So, for example, Adidas had a lot of collabs on the runway, especially with like London-based brands. Yeah. So, so like Wells Bonner had the sneaker that looked like a football shoe. Um, we've seen. Martin uh, Rose, I think. Yeah, Martin um, Rose. We've seen um Craig Green. He had like the Adidas. The Adidas. Oswego. Yeah, the, yeah. He had like the superstars as well, and he yeah. had one that looked like some astroturf. And then obviously Balenciaga with the Zen sneaker. Mm. Like what is this <laughs> thing with like astroturf football type taekwondo shoes becoming a new norm? Please. Like, <laughs> <laughs> that How is. How do you feel jokes. about that? Do you, do you like? Are you for it? Um. As a sneaker head sort of thing, like I'm yeah. not really into what they shown me. Cause yeah. Like I'm oh. like yeah, like the last ones that I really cared about was probably um, Perea Fars and yeah. Like I cared yeah. about that one. I care well, about converse. yeah. yeah like one. I care about all of the yeah, converse yeah, yeah, ones. Yeah, yeah. So like um, JWA as well. I liked his convert. Yeah. Like all of his converse is really. He's had so many. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Too many colorways. Yeah. The sprint, the, yeah. Like those are those are mad. Like um, the a uh, Cold War Vomeros. That's another British yeah, designer. They like um, the, Sakai. Nike, yeah, Nike, Nike Sakai, Sakai and the Waffle. Well, yeah, yeah, the, the, new, the new, the new ones, ones. The new ones. They're based on the Pegasus. Yeah. The last one yeah. they were based on like the Nike Waffle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 They got Zoom. They, I, I think they got Zoom. A lot of these people. are too experimental for hype. Yeah, no. A lot of people are disliking those. Are so yeah. I know. I know because they're cool. I don't dislike them. A lot of people that I've chatted with have been like, no, I'm not feeling these. I'm not That's feeling a good thing these. for me because I love is, them. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> I love them. Yeah, exactly. More power to them. Yeah. More power to them. <laughs> yeah. It'll mean that people ain't going to be having to pay resale prices. <laughs> like, I just want to get the shoes I want for retail and not have to oh. line up in some 10 hour queue. <laughs> but I feel like people won't like it, but they're still going to buy it just in case because it's a bit hyped. Yeah, because of the previous. It's yeah. definitely it's a bit hyped. Price. Like that, I forgot the girl influencer that um styled them for the. Sh- what show was that? No, the girl that was on the Sakai show. Like um, she's a short um light skinned black girl that um is an influencer. She has bare followers. Oh, fam, you guys don't even know. Whoever that is, though, she oh. has a lot of followers. It's gonna just add hype. So yeah. yeah, like yeah, I. I kind of like the colours, like the burgundy one, the brown one, I like them. Um, it, but, like, I want to ask whether you think Men's Wear Fashion Week is going to get the respect it deserves, especially after this one. Like, let's right. say four shows down the line is exactly, uh, four Fashion Weeks down the line, it's exactly, it's brought the levels and experimentation that this one has. Will it get respect? It's the, so, do you know what it is? Where, actually, I'll let you tell you what I'm going to say. So... I think honestly, women's wear, a lot of, as, as you said, a yeah. lot of women are finding more pleasure in men's fashion week yeah. than women's fashion week. And that's because women's wear has already gone through that zeitgeist, that evolution. Right. They've seen that evolution. They've 50, seen that experimentation. Years. Wait, 80 years There's been that. a long, long history with women's wear and the changes that have happened yeah. over that era. Men's wear, Still a new. lot of men's yeah. wear. Has, I've got I've got an article coming. It has that. or it had gotten stale and that's where we're seeing all this experimental vibes. People are being more open to wearing things that would be traditionally perceived as women's wear. They're become a lot of a lot of men them are becoming more secure in their masculinity. Yeah. And realizing, oh, bro, just because I wear these clothes doesn't mean I identify as X way or Y way, you know? So I think with the fact that more people are actually becoming in- interested in man's, Men's Fashion Week, it will result in more people being vocal that they're interested in it and hopefully shutting people up about... <laughs> yeah, there's a men, there's a man them fashion week, the men's wear fashion <laughs> It's a big... No, I feel like it's a big deal that men have a fashion week. And like saying that... Um, 
fashion week shouldn't be gendered no. festivals like kind of weird especially when like you have two different designers mm. for certain houses and cert- stuff like that like yeah. you can't have a hundred looks go down a runway with yeah. like two completely different concepts yeah. going on like that would just be weird like there's certain designers that do their men's wear and more women's wear with the same concept yeah. and yeah. that makes sense but when you're a menswear designer and you're doing certain things and you understand that there's a depiction of masculinity and yeah. you understand that um, the queerness in masculinity and the femininity in men, basically, that you are you can exceptionalise that, then you're allowed to do... You have certain licences to do certain things and you can play a yeah. ball with those type of things. But yeah. people think like men, men's fashion we call like men's where it has like this boundary around it where you can't poke out, but... I feel like we've seen in this fashion week that Definitely. you can a hundred percent explore, 100%, yeah. and there's so many different ways that you can do that from Rick Owens all the way to um, Off White and um, a Cold War and all that stuff and, and Bellucci, Dior and, and Bel- like Dior yeah, there's so many yeah. different even shows for Men's Fashion Week that is like just showed out. Is so wide. Yeah, mm. men are eating as a whole. Men who are into fashion are eating. There's so many different subcultures. There's so many different subgenres. There's so many people who are refining their sense of style, yeah. finding what they enjoy, and specking into that. Basically, targeting that and being like cool i know what i want to look like and reggie this is something reggie from casual says a lot he says that japanese people's approach to fashion they seek to refine and they seek to target what their interests are to represent what they're interested in what they like in fashion which is how it should be whereas menswear at present in the west or over the past few years a lot of menswear was based around how they were perceived by other people. Yeah. yeah. And people didn't have that self, almost didn't lack that self confidence to engage fully and pursue their vision of what they want to be. Right. You know? Yeah. And I think with so I many. I feel that. I feel that. Yeah. I, feel that. I think with so many different. Yeah, like the last generation is. Bit, they've been a bit booky, fam. I feel like <laughs> they didn't have the openness that we have. Like. Yeah. They didn't they have that. bold enough. Like we said, when Bro. we were younger, we yeah. used to wear these things. I used to get called gay for wearing McQueen like soul pictures <laughs> like four or five years ago. Now. Exactly. So exactly. It's, just, it's just that confidence. It's that. Just that, <laughs> it's just that I don't want to get into a run. Star is dead and it's like just telling them like Star is individual. Like you dress yeah, fam. the way you think others will <laughs> wear. Like, that's not how I view style. <laughs> Like, yeah. yeah fam 2010 2015 was a rough time bruv it was a <laughs> rough time but obviously like oh. you can do whatever you want and it should be accepted um and your masculinity shouldn't be questioned like yeah there's a like oh, bro, you know two three prince. years ago when yeah, prince. prince is one of my prince. idols and like david Bowie. yeah oh fam oh, bruv they Rick do it James. correct Rick. oh man <laughs> Fam, Dennis Rodman, like even yeah. Andre yeah, Leon Tully, true. like yeah. all of that stuff, like it's so, they're so cool and they make so much sense. Yeah. And it just like they are masculine and they wear menswear and it works regardless. And like yeah, yeah, like I'm open to understanding like they have their own personal thing that they want to achieve yeah. when wearing clothes. And like that's just mm. kind of how it should be on like a one hundred percent basis. Like you should be able to do this. Yeah, pardon me, but yeah, like I feel like as more the more open we get, like we see people like um, damn, I forgot my favorite guy, Billy um Billy Porter and stuff like that. Like oh, yeah, he, Billy gets, Porter, mm, he gets, he gets to yeah, he gets Michael to do Parker. whatever oh, he wants. He loves it. And like you get like that guy, that one extreme, like. Uh, I feel like I live at the mandem extreme. Like, <laughs> I, feel like, I feel like obviously there's boundaries that I have, but like there's places that I can go and like yeah. obviously yeah. like um there's things that I can pair and like not pair and like decide what I want to do and what not to do and like what will be next as a forecaster and stuff like that. And yeah, we can care and like there can be a space for each individual one. Yeah. Like, yeah, you can be Billy Poor and like... um where this extravagant avant-garde like um really like gallant and um 
what would you say um flamboyant yeah flamboyant yeah. type clothes but then you can also be like tracksuit mafia basically yeah, yeah. like um sportswear and like lux lux fashion and all of that stuff and you've yeah. got all of those two and they live in harmony right but yeah anyway since you're the one that posed the question what's your answer what's it too um, your question. You originally asked a question. I forgot. What my you question forgot was. what your question is, yeah. Raw. I have as well. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> oh, bro. Oh my god. <laughs> I actually forgot. I can't remember. Bro, we all got Alzheimer's. Okay. Might as, you might as well just end the video on that note. Right, on that note. <laughs> take okay. care, guys. <laughs> yes, this, <laughs> this has this been A-R-A-H <laughs> of nytypical.net or of nine. Oh. Christopher's bodyguard. <laughs> McQueen's views on a definite attack to himself. <laughs> 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 and you guys have been pre the drop and the fashion archive but you know you can say that as well you know do, do you guys have like an exit no yeah no, really. okay <laughs> no no my exit's usually like eh, have a lovely day yeah <laughs> peace blessings and all love to you guys that's a bit, this has been amazing <laughs> yeah anyway hope you enjoyed the video take care and have a lovely night <laughs> <laughs>